but today we're taking a look at the Pro Action Sydney one man tent. 1.6 kilograms, um, fairly heavy poles, very heavy pegs, so you could take two or three hundred grams off that. Um, this is, as you can see in this picture, it's in the style of a ridge tent with a side opening, which makes it unusual. It's only single skin and the actual tent is darker the more it looks from the packaging. So what do we get in the bag? We've got our single skin. So this is a single skin one man tent with a large mesh door which is supposed to make up for the fact that it's only single skin. We've got a quite heavy duty pole in three sections one in two sections um, 12 heavy steel pegs but unusual for most tents it actually comes with a spur section of pole and um, I suppose it's for repairs it says on it please cut to required length so that's interesting and they've also given a spur peg and a spur guideline. That's interesting for a tent which is, or which was, because I don't think they make them anymore, but cheaper as chips. We've got a 2000 hydrostatic head, 5000 polyester floor, and because it's only single skin, there's actually much less material here, so we get a saving of weight and a saving of size, and that's all back into the bag. So what we've got is a bit of a hybrid shelter. Um, we've got the V, ridge tent. It's sort of a classic shape. We've got the side door. No front door. Pole at each end, we're sloping down, and we're narrowing towards the back. Huge opening, we can sit in, can't really cook, sheltered. Um, some of the reviews I've read suggested always use this with a tarp over the top because they're not perfect, not ideal uh, in wet weather. And also, if you are going to leave the mesh open all night or leave the front door open and the mesh up for ventilation then any rain would come down and enter the tent. Space wise quite a lot of space at the top end and still fairly wide down at the narrow end. Plenty of space all around.
So if we go inside now, let's just get the best light. Now the pole system. You can see where it sits down at the bottom. And with the ground being quite soft underneath, that holds its position. But up at the top, it's not really held in place other than by the tension on the guy rope outside. Same at the other end. This should really be sitting on that reinforced patch. And then up the top, again it just sits on a slightly reinforced area, but there's nothing to hold it there. And it could, in theory, slip down. So, up at the front end of the tent, and there's quite large vents that we can hold up. It's a clip to hold that up size. Doesn't seem to be a vent at the other end. Although at the lower end we've got a pole at the top of the ridge and got this tension down the guy line. And you would think we were going to have a vent under there but there's nothing there. That would have given us uh, air flow through the tent. So really it relies on keeping at least part of this mesh open so you get air flow through the tent. But of course potentially any rain coming down is going to land straight there or blow against it. I think hence the reason why some people have recommended that you use it with a tarp over the top. I don't really know where we stand with this one because it's a bit of a hybrid. It's not really a tent being single skinned. It has an unusual side opening which could let the rain in. Uh, and at the same time it's not really a bivvy. So, maybe sometime I'll be able to test it, spend the night in it with a tarp over the top. Uh, maybe somewhere where I can have a fire as well and see if it uh, stays nice and warm inside with the fire. But, something to play with, something that would be maybe interesting to use as a starting point and mod it, um, make it more suitable for whatever your use is. Um, it's interesting, but I'm actually a bit confused by it, to be honest.